Hello, we are in the show titled Stefan Gierowski, The Sense of Space, The Sense of Light. And in this show are presented 24 works, 12 by Stefan Gierowski and 12 by uh, three other Italian artists, Lucio Fontana, Mario Nigro and Piero Dorazio. Stefan Gierowski is one of the great masters of uh, post-war Polish abstraction. If he is uh, widely recognized and acclaimed in um, Poland, his work um, didn't yet receive the recognition it deserves in Western Europe, in uh, France, in Germany, in Switzerland, or uh, in Italy. Stefan Gorowski was born in 1925. He's still alive and active. I recently uh, went uh, to visit him in the outskirts of, um, of Warsaw. Stefan Gierowski uh, is one of the most amazing uh, European painters of his uh, generation. Since the late um, 50s, uh, he has been producing a quite singular painting which has to do more with uh, light, space and color than with form. Although singular, uh, Gierowski painting um, is not unrelated uh, to the work of some Western European artists. And it's probably with Italian artists uh, that his painting showed the most affinity. This is why the purpose of this exhibition is to present Gierowski work in dialogue with uh, the works of Fontana, Nigro and Dorazio. However, Gierowski came only once in Italy in 1961. And rather than discovering his contemporaries, Gierowski spent his trip to watch the painting of the great master of the past, Piero della Francesca, Giotto, Mantegna, most important to him, Caravaggio. In 68, Gierowski exhibited in Italy. He was one of the two Polish artists featured in uh, the Polish uh, pavilion in uh, the Venice uh, Biennale. He showed in uh, this uh, exhibition 13 paintings made between 62 and 68. In the Venice Biennale, this painting was presented, and I'm very happy that uh, this painting is now uh, shown at the uh, Depp Art Gallery. In 68, for the Venice Biennale, uh, Gierowski was not allowed to come to uh, Italy, so he didn't see the show he had uh, in, uh, in Venice. The proximity uh, between Gierowski and some great Italian artists is uh, so the most, all the most striking because uh, there was no, there was never real contact between Gierowski and, uh, and this artist. Both Fontana and Gierowski seek to give depth to the pictorial field. At this end, Fontana perforates the painting or slashes uh, the painting, and Gierowski uses gradation of uh, color and chiaroscuro. In the painting that welcomes the visitors at Depp Art Gallery, white line converge towards a central hall, a central hall which opens to a void to a nocturnal field, a nocturnal sky. We must not hesitate to compare this hall in this painting by Gierowski to the hall which is in this uh, painting by uh, Fontana. It is uh, the same thing. Um, it's also the same thing, you know, uh, the slashes in the white painting by Fontana are very similar to uh, this white line uh, which looks like a slit in which appears shining. Uh, there is a, a close relationship between the hall uh, on the Fontana's painting, uh, the hall painted in this uh, 84 painting by Gierowski, and uh, the line white or, la or black uh, which appear of, uh, on the, the painting by Gierowski of, uh, of the 60s.
the luminospatialism of Stefan Gierowski brings him closer to uh, the vast international trend zero. It is true that Fontana was the major figure, the mentor of uh, the, uh, this international uh, movement uh, zero. Mario Nigro was uh, also preoccupied with space rather than uh, form. As evidenced by the title of the series, it began in uh, 1952, uh, Spazio Totale. Uh, 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 this title, uh, of course, echoes uh, the series uh, of Fontana's Concetto Spaziale and seems to be stating similar ambition to make the painting into an instrument that suggests space extending far beyond the limits of the painting. Where Fontana pierces and cuts the canvas, uh, where Girovsky achieves depth uh, in uh, via uh, light and shadow uh, effects, Nigro uses linear perspective. In the 80s, the similarities between Nigro's and Girovsky painting are absolutely stunning. A room in the exhibition that brings together two paintings by one and two paintings by the other makes this strikingly clear. In the early uh, 80s, the line, uh, which had been part of Girovsky language during the 60s, uh, makes a dynamic return. For Nigro, the line is a plastic embodiment of an unlimited spatial and temporal continuum. In the earthquake series, uh, dated uh, 1980, Nigro also uses the line as an instrument. The painting were inspired by the terrible earthquake uh, which ravaged uh, Campania in November 80. But the line is also turned to, uh, towards the sky. Uh, as the subtitle of one of the works in the series indicates, Earthquake dalla Tempesta. As we know Georgian's famous painting, The Tempest is about not earthquake, but about storm. Indeed, it is considered as the first representation of lightning in the history of European painting. Gierowski saw The Tempest in uh, Venice in 1961 when he visited uh, Venice. Perhaps uh, these two uh, paintings were inspired by uh, the tempest uh, which he saw in Venice in, in 61. The paintings of Doradio and Gierowski share several aspects. See, for example, um, this Gierowski large painting from the mid-70s, uh, the vertical rectangle floating on a black background with this um, light line crossing uh, it uh, closely resembles uh, to Dorazio uh, texture made of intersecting lines of different uh, colors. The resemblance between uh, the two uh, paintings are uh, absolutely uh, stunning. Both painters also share uh, pointillist nebulosity and dynamic uh, rayonism. What can we learn? from the kinship uh, between uh, Gierowski painting and uh, that of some eminent representative of Italian abstraction. We know that the similarities are not due to exchanges between them because there were no exchanges. This is what makes the relationship in question uh, so interesting and so meaningful. If Gierowski painting shares some aspect um, with the works of Fontana, Nigro, and Dorazio, it is because their respective poetics are um, comparable in their internal logics. In the pictorial avant-garde uh, which emerged at the end of the 50s, I think two major trends can be distinguished. On one end, self-referential abstractions, thinking of itself and of its own codes, 
on the other end, um, an abstraction which is not really interested in itself, but in categories, in some categories that transcend on the, the only pictorial field, light, space, and color. This exhibition, by associating painting by Gerovsky and works of some of the major player in uh, post-war Italian abstraction, wishes to highlight the existence, the consistency, and the scope in terms of style and also in terms of geography of this second trend. And finally, uh, this exhibition would like to show that the history of European art in the second half of the 20th uh, century has not yet been completely written. Historians and curators must now get into the habit of considering the history uh, of abstraction of this period with new actors. New actors with the accident of history, for instance, the Cold War, had long hidden from our eyes. It is, for example, no longer possible to talk about European abstraction in the second half of the 20th century without mentioning a painter as important as Stefan Gierowski. <laughs>